On your shot, Dave. All right. Open up! No! Bone the grenade! I don't know why he threw it two inches. If my controller is fucking up, it spins itself. I need to buy a new one. Bastards. Get up! Keep moving! We still got a job to do! Run! Are you good? Put the fuck down. Listen! Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Still, they were still on the German army side. Like, oh, blow me up! Hey, Craig T. Okay, good, good. Perfect time to reload. Good. Up. Now's not a time for a nap. Look at that. Are you fucking kidding me? He stood there. Did you guys see that? He stood there in that fucking grenade. It exploded like with it in his face. It didn't matter. At all.
everyone. Thanks for the assistance, guys. You guys are a real team. Those planes are gonna take out the bridge. We need to capture those AA guns. Daniel, Howard, on me, move now! Daniel. Sergeant, call him out! buddy.
Damn it! I thought they were my team. I don't, I can't distinguish between them. Oh, this is supposed to happen? Bridge is ours. Corporal Howard. I believe I owe you an apology. You owe me a hell of a lot more than that. Come on through. We just made history, fellas. Worst across the road. What you looking at, Fritz? There are reports of POW camps in the area. Davis has ordered us to wait for authorization before conducting a sweep. But I guess you know what to do with Davis's orders. Copy that, Sergeant. All right. Proud our platoon held the first bridgehead on the Rhine. Now our convoy's rolling into the heart of Germany. They say war's as good as one. Not to me. Not while Zuss is out there. After leaving the bridge on our mission east, we searched camps along the way. I thought I knew what cruelty was. I didn't know anything. But one thing's for certain. What I saw will stay with me forever. Survivors said that the other POWs including Zussman, had been taken to a smaller camp three hours east. All I could do was hope he somehow made it. Last one. This looks more like a labor camp. Come on. I get the feeling it's deserted. It's still burning. They must have just left. There's a barracks over there. Daniels. You and Styles check it out. I yellow with me. They wanted to hide whatever happened here. Yeah, I'd say it's so. Uh... Oh, okay. He had to open it. Take out your camera. The world's got to know. They had them living worse than animals. From the looks of it, they were beaten, starved, and worked to the bone. Over 
The Nazis had murdered our boys in cold blood, and no fire in hell could burn away the stain. I'm guessing they made an example out of them. They'd slaughtered the weakest, anyone that was slowing them down. Daniels, over here. Daniels, you gotta see this. The tracks lead to the fields. That's where they must have marched on. Then that's where we're going. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Corporal. I made a promise to Sussman. We'll find him. I just can't guarantee we'll find him alive. Sergeant, I'll take point. Sussman! Red! Red! Take the shot! Everything's coming full circle. All I've done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. died right there in the snow all because I couldn't couldn't damn it I'm coming Zussman you're not gonna die brother not now not today Zussman out for me Paul and I reckon you did today because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march and that's having your brothers beside you when history called you answered from all walks of life you came to defend peace and freedom I thank you and the world thanks you wherever your path takes you know this you will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. Zussman wanted you to have it. Yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Gotta say bye to Zussman. Sarge. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of farm boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> Crazy ain't the half of it. If you're ever in Chicago, I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome anytime. You know, when 
they captured us it wasn't just our freedom that they took. And even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. Well, you, you could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. Just couldn't live it. The dream was different last night. This time we made it home, together. I can still hear the wolves, Paul. Sometimes I still see them coming. But you showed me how to fight them. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me. So, uh, without looking it up, uh, what, what my actual, uh, playtime was for the story mode as in game, like, maybe different than others, because I was playing it slower than other people, um, but what was there was good, like, you could get rid of all the multiplayer stuff and, like, make the story, like, three times longer, and I'd be happy, um, because, you know, it is gripping, unlike other Call of Duty stories that I've seen, that I've played, uh, within the last however many years. This one actually had good character development. Um, this game actually has... Graphics were fucking amazing, although Call of Duty never, hasn't really suffered from that. Their graphics had been good, but these game, some of these cinematic cutscenes, the uh, pre-rendered cutscenes I had in the game were like almost real. Uh, they were so good, so that's, so, I mean, I can't really give a final score to this, because the final score includes the multiplayer. Um, but yeah, but what, but other than that, that is going to do it for the Call of Duty World War II playthrough if you're on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to y'all in the next playthrough. Bye guys.